I'm going to have a look at the melodic recall section of the rock school exam syllabus. Melodic recall, what it basically means is that your ability to determine whether a note is higher or lower in relation to another note. So for the test, what will happen is the examiner will play you two notes and you'll be asked to uh, decide which of the two notes is the higher of the notes that is played. One will obviously be lower, one will obviously be higher. Um, depending on how he decides to test you, he might play the higher note first, might play the lower note first. So your job will be to decide which of those two notes is the higher note. That's what we'll be asked to do. In the, the format of the test, you'll be given a, a, a counting on the metronome at four, four counting at, I think it's 85 BPM, and then they will play the sequence of two notes twice over. So there'll be four notes in total, but it's a repetition of a two note pattern. So you'll hear, for example, a low note and then a higher note, and then a low note and a higher note, it'll be the same notes, you just get to hear it twice. So it's not four different notes, it's just the same two note sequence repeated twice. If you look at the, um, if you look on your book, if you look on the, the materials provided by Rock School, on the example that it gives you, it's <laughs> it's not a particularly good task because it also gives you the tab so you can probably tell by looking at it which is the higher of the two notes. Um, but we'll, I've got a solution to that afterwards. To start with I'll just play through the example that they're giving us on the uh, tab. In this example they're using two E notes that uh, are an octave apart. So one of the notes is an octave, that's basically 12 semitones or 8 full tones different from the other one. I've got a metronome for this, that's set at 85 like the test will be, so I'll let it count into four. I'll play the piece exactly as it is in the in the book and then we can uh, take it from there. So that's what you'll get. You'll get a counting of four and then you'll get the two note pattern played twice. So on this example, I'll, I'll give you the answer, it's there in the tab anyway, the first note is the higher note, that's an octave higher than the second note I played. It's not something you can particularly practice with, with the materials you've got because as I say, it's giving you the answer in the description. So what I've decided to do, um, if, if this is something that you feel you might need to practice for for the exam, I'm now going to give you five exercises. I'll do exactly the same thing again. I'll use different notes today. I'll use some, some other different ones, but it'll be exactly the same. There'll be an octave apart. One will be higher, one will be lower. So you can have a go for yourself with notes that you haven't heard before on the syllabus to see if you can determine which is higher and which is lower. If you don't get it right, it's not the end of the world. Now's the time for practice get it right before you put yourself in for the exam. So I'll do them one at a time. I've, I'll put in the, um, I'll put the answers in the description and I'll try and put it down low so that you don't see it on the first page so I don't give the game away. So what I'd probably recommend for now, and I, I'd never normally say this on my videos, is when I play the exercises, perhaps don't look at what I'm playing because that you might see from my hand movements which notes I'm playing. Um, if you want to see which notes I'm playing, that's fine, but as a test, it's better for you if you can't see what I'm playing, if you, you know, sort of just turn away or close your eyes or whatever, and just rely on your ears, because this is a this is an ears test as to which notes higher or lower. So I'm gonna do five. Um, I'll call them exercises one through to five so that the that will sync up with the actual ans answers that I provide in the description on this video. So for the first one I'll um, I'll do the same principle, I'll do the four count on the metronome and then I'm going to play the notes. So whilst I'm going through these like I say it's probably not a good idea to look at me because it might influence what you think is the higher note. Try and trust your ears. first exercise, the second exercise, same again, I'm going to play the, I'll let it count in for four and play 
the two notes. This is going to be the third exercise. Same again, let it count in and play two notes. Fourth exercise, same again, I'll let it count in and play two notes. Fifth and final exercise, same again, I'll count in and then two notes. So hopefully that'll give you a little bit of um, practice to have a go at, just a bit little bit of ear training. It's not something that I'm mean, some people are lucky, they can I've met some people who can I could play any note on this guitar and they'll tell me what it is. I'm not one of those people, it's something that I've had to work on. It may or may not be something that you have to work on a lot, but if you have a go at the those exercises I've just provided, and I'll put the answer in the description, hope that'll help you prepare for the this section of the exam.